Lawyers for the former congressional candidate and pro wrestler charged with murder want to throw out text messages and wiretap conversations recorded with his wife. Daniel Rodeimer accused of killing Christopher Tapp at a party at Resorts World back in the fall. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne has been following the story since word of Rodeimer's arrest. Kyle? Kirsten Denise, police say Dan Rodeimer was at a party with Christopher Tapp in October. They say Rodeimer accused Tapp of offering cocaine to Rodeimer's stepdaughter and Rodeimer beat Tapp to death. Today, Rodeimer faced those charges in court. Good morning, Your Honor. David Chesoff and Richard Schoenfeld on behalf of Mr. Rodeimer, who's present here, Mark. Dan Rodeimer, out on $200,000 bail, back in court today with his high-profile criminal attorney to face a judge in justice court. His lawyers acknowledging that police have damning wiretap evidence against Rodeimer, as well as text messages to and from his wife. His wife allegedly saying, quote, I watched you nearly murder somebody, and I had to take your hands off from his neck as he laid there and you ran away. I spent the next two hours trying to take care of him. Nobody should have to watch their husband murder somebody. And Rodeimer's lawyer saying they plan to argue in court that prosecutors shouldn't be allowed to use anything Rodeimer said to his wife. Your motion to suppress the wiretap as to marital privilege as well as text messages as to marital privilege. It's just bringing back a flood of, of emotions. The victim's family hired Tapp's friend, an attorney who helped Tapp get out of prison after spending two decades for a rape and murder, of which DNA evidence eventually exonerated him. He says he and Tapp's family will be at every hearing. We want the process to work itself out. We're not here to influence anybody. Uh, we just want uh, justice to be served. Rodeimer ran for Nevada's 3rd Congressional District against Democrat Susie Lee in 2020, and after that ran for Congress in Texas, and also lost. Also today, Rodeimer's lawyers said they want all the information on Tapp's prison background. Prosecutors say they're not entitled to it unless Rodeimer says he killed Tapp in self-defense. Well, prosecutors said in court they were still considering taking Rodeimer's case to the grand jury for an indictment. We can tell you his next court date is a hearing coming up May 8th.